Hello, lovelies. Welcome to another day, to another Bookmas. Welcome to Bookmas Day 20. Today we're going to talk about spun. <laughs> because we're going to talk about some of the books that are on my Christmas wish list and should be on yours. The books on this list are roughly... You could divide them in two categories. Pretty books and continuations of series. Some of those series continuations are um, anticipated releases, but you know, they're either pretty or a series I love. <laughs> so let's start with the pretty books. <laughs> I absolutely love Cloudbound books. They look really pretty. Um, and there are a couple that I would like to get the most. There's a really pretty Anne of Green Gables box up. <laughs> um, I've read the first Anne of Green Gables. I enjoyed it actually because I was afraid it might be too slow for me, but I actually enjoyed it. And I would like to continue with the series, but that gives me an excuse to look for the prettiest gift box there is. You know, I love box sets because they're pretty and the books are all matching. So this is the one of Anne Green Gables that I really would like. <laughs> then there is a really pretty compound of the Goblin Market, which is stunning. And re this year I've read either books that refer to the goblin market or were a retelling of it or inspired by the goblin market so i would love to read the original poem um and it's pretty so i put it on my christmas wish list <laughs> um the last one is jabberwocky it is the alice in wonderland poem it's absolutely stunning it fits very well with the alice in wonderland cloth bound if you want to <laughs> and since I'm collecting Alice in Wonderland books, I want all the pretty editions, so these two are definitely on the Christmas wish list. And if you like pretty books, you know, consider these. <laughs> uh, the penguin class uh, cloak bones are really, really pretty. For the Dutch viewers, the Blossom Publishers have club bounds uh, all classics that are very beautiful but also very readable they're um, a bit more than nice but still have the classic feel to it but they read more easily so I love those editions as well other pretty books are leather bounds <laughs> I love leather bounds they look so pretty i would love to have a case of leather bounds you know let's start with the shell but if i could ultimately when i'm 90 years old have a bookcase of leather bounds because then you have like a dark academia classic looking library and i would absolutely love that um and you know there are a lot of pretty leather bounds out there there's this Barnes and Noble leather bags and silicone that I really really like. I also like the Crim Fairy Tales from Barnes and Noble, but the Barnes and Noble is a bit more expensive. Um, they are very sturdy though. They are uh, good quality. I have cheaper leather bags and I've heard they're less quality. I haven't experienced that yet, but my leather bags aren't that old. They're like one year old now, so I don't see anything happening to them yet but you know they're still young one of those cheaper series actually uh with leather bounds are from the flame publishers and i recently found they have have loads so i'm a bit embarrassed but 
I almost put every single one of them on it because they all kind of look like this and it's really really beautiful um they have a series called gothic tales i put every single book a uh, gothic fantasy sorry i put every single book in this series on my list they have a gothic christmas story one they also have one with Bram Stoker's story not only dracula but other stories as well like kind of this with mary shelley so i would those are on top of my list <laughs> to be fair i absolutely love them but they also have a series called epic fantasy stories and there were just so much and they were all pretty and they have a grim one as well and they all look stunning and this one i bought this january so it's not a year old yet the foiling is still good i i don't see any Thing wrong with it but i haven't read it yet um so you know i'm it's the half of the price of the brands and nobles and i've heard people on the internet say this is less quality it should be for that price but so i'm i i don't see it yet so i'm curious to see how this holds up in let's say 10 years or five years to the brands and noble ones because they are really stunning and they're affordable you know if you want a gothic dark academia classic li library with letter bunks but you don't have the money for it this might be an option for you um so i put pretty much all of them on my wish list sorry <laughs> um you know can always try <laughs> No, no, my mom wants to buy books for me, so it's fine. I just put a priority of books on them. And I have my separate Amazon wishlist where, a, where I put all those on. Um, because every time I see a good book, a book I want or like, I just put it on that list. Um, so I don't forget, but people get overwhelmed with that list. Uh, the list is linked down below. If you would like to see my... I believe 3000 book wish list to get you know to feel inspired to find some good books for yourself please don't buy them off my list for yourself because you delete them from my list and then i forget about them and that's not the plan <laughs> then we have the completing series part and there are some there are new wayward children books coming in january anticipated release but i really want to get to it um i still need the second book of rainbow gray and i'm not sure if there's gonna be a third already i would love to get legendarium because it's the second book to wonderscape and i enjoyed wonderscape my husband enjoyed wonderscape so that would be really nice i still need to read the map maker I don't own it and I want to own those books so that one is on my Christmas wish list and it's it's cute though. uh can we find the first one yes the headmakers is about this girl Cornelia um, she is from the Headmaker's family, but apparently in this world, there are four major magic, magic maker families. We have a head one, we have the map one, I think there was a boot one. And in this book, uh, Cordelia's father got lost. And in the second book, she's trying to find them. And I enjoyed this first book so much, I gave it four stars. So... I really want to continue, but I just didn't get to it yet. Same as Rainbow Grey. I really enjoy it, but I still need... I want to buy the second book before I can read it, so that's why I didn't read it already. And Gavin from How to Turn Your Gavin in, is in here, and it's really cute. This is about Ray Grey. And this is a city where everybody has weather magic and she doesn't but one day she finds rainbow magic and that's the most 
special magic there is. Um, so I'm really curious where the sequel is going. And then I'm still working on this series by Serena Valentino. It's the Disney Villain series. Um, and I still miss three books. Um, but I love this series because every book is a different Disney villain. And we get their point of view, their... You, you get their origin story. But all the stories are woven together with one... Sorry, I bumped it. With one storyline. Um, and it's really, really good. I still need the last three though. <laughs> and... Um, there is no audiobook available, only on the Amazon one, but I'm not doing that one. So I need to have them physically and read them. <laughs> and these were some of the books on my Christmas wish list. Um, I hope you feel inspired. If you want more inspiration, check out my wish list. Um, there are loads of books on there, so you can find a lot of pretty books that you might have forgotten about. If you like this video, please think about liking this video, subscribing if you want to see more from me. Tomorrow is another video day. <laughs> I'll po put out a video every day in December. Hopefully. At least until Christmas is the plan. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, please stay kind of friendly. Bye, loves.